Today we're going to be talking about how to clean out your old mortise locks. Uh, the reason that you might want to do this is if they get gummed up and stop working, they can make it really hard to use the doors in your house. Also, if you're looking to match up a skeleton key to work the deadbolt, the privacy latch, you're going to want to clean these out and make sure they're in good working order before you attempt to match up a key. So the first thing you're going to need to remove the mortise lock from your door is a flathead screwdriver. Okay, so you'll see there's a screw at the top and a screw at the bottom. Those are going to come out. You're also going to want to make sure that you've already removed your doorknobs. This lock will not come out if you still have your doorknobs in the door. So you'll unscrew the doorknob, pull them both out, and then you're going to take your flathead screwdriver and remove both of these screws. If it's stuck in the door, you're going to want to take your screwdriver, insert it in the hole, and push as you're pulling out. Be very careful of prying along this edge because you will damage the wood. Once you have your lock out of the door, you're going to need your flathead screwdriver again. You will find that there is one screw on one side of your mortise lock. Go ahead, lay your mortise lock down, and undo that screw. Don't touch anything else on the inside of your mortise lock. All right, we're removing the screw. We're going to open this up. It's just a little plate that comes off. The inside is wet because we did soak this in paint remover. We have paint all along the surface here, which you are going to have to remove if your mortise lock is painted. Um, that's why it's wet on the inside. We'll take care of that in a minute. As you can see, there's a lot of moving parts here. I would suggest taking a photo of it on your phone so that if anything comes loose, you know where it goes back in and prevent yourself any confusion later. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is take out this privacy latch, deadbolt latch here. So like I said, take a photo before you start. That way if anything comes loose or you're not sure later where it goes back, you can refer back to that photo. Little things like springs might come out. There we go. <laughs> See, this all kind of comes out. So just to prevent yourself any problems later on, take that photo. I'm just gonna clean this off, dry this off. You're also gonna probably wanna take out that latch up here. So I'm gonna back that out. If your lock doesn't look the same, that's okay. They all have the basic same parts. So the principles here are gonna be the same. It's all covered in paint, we're gonna take care of that. Same with this, covered in paint, we're gonna take care of that. Okay, I've gone ahead with just a paper towel and dapped the inside dry. We're also gonna go in with a little bit of rust remover. This bottle is not the greatest, but You'll see I'm just dabbing a little bit of PB Blast. You can use WD-40. Some people like graphite. I prefer this stuff just to keep everything working smoothly, prevent any rust buildup. This one's fairly clean. Yours may not be. You may want to go in with a little brass brush, loosen up the rust, wipe it out. That's okay, too. The next thing we're going to do is shear off any paint because even just a little bit will keep your locks from operating the way they're supposed to. I'm using a little wood carving pick. You can use a brass brush, you can use steel wool. I also like to go in with a bench wheel with a brass attachment on it, which will really cut through all this very, very quickly. So that's what I'm gonna do now, but for your purposes at home, you can use whatever you have on hand. Just make sure that it's not something so abrasive that it's going to change the shape of your brass pieces. Okay, as you can see, I've taken these to our brass wheel and polished them up. They're nice and smooth now, no remnants of paint or rust. Those are gonna work really nicely. The next thing I'm gonna do is take, you can use a uh, flathead screwdriver for this if you want, but I'm gonna take my little wood pick and just remove any paint along the inside edges of this. The next thing you're going to do is reinsert your lock tab. Here's another good tip that you may not know. Most mortise locks, except for exterior mortise locks, are reversible. So if you buy one that's not the right swing direction for your door, you back it out, flip it, and insert it. So, you know, by helpful hint, if you think you picked up the wrong thing at the store, you're probably still okay. 
contact spring back in there. If your lock does not have this spring, that's okay. A lot of them do not. Okay, you can see that that's moving well. Everything's oiled. This one's gonna be a little bit trickier because it's got that spring working against you. Just take your time. Put that front end in. See, it's gonna wanna pop out on you. That's okay. It might take you a few tries, not the end of the world. Just make sure that that stock little steel bar is, is in the right, right place. Your little spring has got to be in the right place. You might want your screwdriver for this. Okay. Yeah, it's sitting in the right spot. So that should. We're going to make sure that that's working the right way. It's going to pop out. But that's okay. Now everything's back in. You can go ahead. You've gotten everything clean, go ahead and close your lock back up. Don't lose where you put your screw. Do not over tighten this screw. It does not need to be cranked down on. Just hand tight is fine. Right? I've sourced a key just to demonstrate that the lock is in working order now. And all those parts are working smoothly. I'm also going to go ahead and finish up this outside edge with the brass brush as well to get it a little brighter. But other than that, it's ready to go back in your door. Make sure you held on to these brass screws for your door and you're all set.